We've talked about food a little bit and water. Um, and when you talk about cancer, a lot of people that we've talked to talk about the difference between an acidic body and an alkaline body, and then trying to make your body more alkaline. Do you subscribe to that? Uh, I do in a way because all the toxins usually cause uh, acid balance in the system. So you do need to bring the body back to a slightly alkaline state. And one of the things that a lot of people miss on that subject is the topic of parasites. Uh, even the doctors that are doing juicing programs and cleansing programs and all that, and they can't figure out why the body is still acidic, is the fact that you haven't done a parasite cleanse. And one of the big things we found with all disease, and when I say parasites, any harmful organism that le lives off of a host mechanism is the definition of a parasite, not just worms. So a parasite is candida. A parasite is different variations of fungus, bacteria, morgellons, um, protozoa, mycoplasms, viruses, and worms. So if those aren't cleansed out of your system, and every single person that we've seen with any type of symptom or degenerative disease or cancer has an overgrowth of parasites inside their body, and parasites secrete formaldehyde, formalin, isopropyl alcohol. So you're going to constantly have, and not necessarily if you're cleansing and you're on juicing, are you going to ever attack those parasites or kill them? Because a lot of them actually like, you actually feed them more. So that's when you have to go into a specific uh, herbal blend, black walnut, cassia bark, clove bud, worm seed, wormwood, you know, some of those things. Some in diatomaceous earth actually is one of the things that we use that's very inexpensive that people can get online or anywhere that help eliminate intestinal and parasites throughout the body.